summer is just around the corner and we've been waiting for it almost as much as we've been looking forward to update 12.4. Ahoy, Captain. I'm Tina and you're watching the review of our latest World of Warships update. New European destroyers. Convoy is back. New European destroyers have arrived in early access. The long-awaited repeated battle entry is here and Pan American cruisers have landed in the tech tree. We'll dive into the new features in detail right after a short intro. Captain, the Convoy Temporary Battle Type has returned to the game. This is its third iteration and we've substantially improved it compared to the previous ones. The new Convoy Battles utilize a 12 versus 12 format, with only Tier 8 through Tier 10 ships allowed to participate. The gist of the mode can be described as follows. Protect or destroy. The team you get allocated to, escorting or attacking, will be decided randomly. Regarding other changes, Convoy now features the Haven map and the full list of maps has been expanded to seven. The battle mode interface and bot behavior have also been updated. Transport bots have also learned to change their speed to evade torpedoes instead of only changing course as they did before. Depending on the map, there will be two or three convoy routes and one or several destinations. To win, the defending team will need to escort at least one transport ship to the destination point or sink all ships on the attacking team. The attacking team has to sink all transports or their guards. Be sure to share your impressions and experience in the comments below this video. We read everything. Keep that in mind. A new branch of European destroyers is entering early access in update 12.4. The fjords port has been updated to mark the occasion. European destroyers are equipped exclusively with high explosive shells and can inflict decent damage with a single salvo. Their torpedoes are fast, but they have only a short range and inflict modest damage. The ships themselves are only capable of reaching modest speeds, and their detectability is high. However, their HP pools are quite decent. As for consumables, the ships are equipped with engine boost and smoke generator. Starting from Tier 8, they have access to surveillance radar in a separate slot. We'll now tell you in detail which destroyers will be available and how you can obtain them. You can obtain the new destroyers from sequential bundles in exchange for a temporary resource, European tokens. Besides the theme permanent camouflages for Tier 8 and above ships, they drop Muavanet, Stored, and Grom, Tier 5, 6, and 7 ships respectively. The final reward of the premium pass is Tier 8 ship Split. Random bundles available for doubloons will also contain Tier 9 ship Lambros Catsonis. And finally, having opened all sequential bundles available for European tokens, you'll be able to purchase Tier 10 ship Dunks for doubloons. Captains! <laughs> Captains, brew your calabashes, put on the iconic Pan Americano song, and welcome all 10 new Pan American cruisers to the tech tree in update 12.4. The new branch of ships is now available for all players to research. Pan American cruisers are armed with 152 mm guns and armor-piercing shells with improved ricochet angles. Their torpedoes are also an additional source of damage. The new cruisers have an interesting feature from Tier 6 Combat Instructions. To fill the Combat Instructions progress bar, you must constantly shell your opponent with your main battery guns. If you start missing your shots, your progress will quickly shrink. Their Combat Instructions substantially cut the cooldown of consumables when enabled, and this is especially useful given the wide range of those on the new Pan American cruisers. You'll certainly remember Update 12.4, Captains. It represents an important step for our game. You can now enter a new battle playing a ship that was destroyed in the previous battle without having to wait for it to end. 
This means that you can play your favorite ship more and accelerate your progress. You are fighting one opponent after another, quickly pushing toward the opponent's base. But a hostile battleship emerged from behind the cover of an island and sent you back to the port with a full salvo? Well, the days of waiting for the battle to end are over. Just enter a new one directly from the exit menu of the current one or from the port. What's more, you can now change the ship's configuration before each new battle. For example, you can change the economic bonuses or commander. But the results of the previous battle will be calculated based on the old configuration. The post-battle service cost for completed battles will be summed up until you complete all the battles and return to the port. Notifications have been completely redesigned in Update 12.4. They now consist of three permanent blocks. Battle results, inventory, and other. We did it. A temporary block exists in addition to the permanent blocks. It will display notifications related to game updates. We've added a new type of message, emergency messages, which include administration notifications, information about server reboots, technical works, and other similar events. We've also shortened some tooltips for your convenience. However, they will still be displayed in the notification history. In this episode, we've only covered the most important features that await you in Update 12.4. You can find even more details and information about the new update on our website. Take a moment to visit it. I'm Tina, and I wish you many victories and great times. Until next time.